Hey Stampers, welcome to Brandy's Cards. So I have a fun card for you, um, a background that I made for a presentation that I did at the Stampin' Up! On Stage event. I was really, really excited and I thought, okay, I, they Stampin' Up! sent me some pre-order um, stamp sets and so they said, we'll make a couple of projects that you can just um, demonstrate on stage and show everybody. So I was really excited, I had fun doing this card and I thought, maybe you guys would like to see it as well and see how I made the background and what stamp set I chose and what stamp in the stamp set I chose because that's the fun part. All right, so take a look at this. This stamp set is called Painter's Palette. It is a fun stamp set. I love these little dots and splatters of like paint. It's definitely a work of art stamp set. So I think this is super fun. So if you open up your Stampin' Up! catalog, that's right, our 2016 annual catalog, I believe it was on page 119, I believe is what I remember. Oh, there it is right there. So it's on page 119. This is the Playful Palette Suite. It's very modern, very colorful. You can see all these different colors in here, um, and it looks like you know they've used a lot of the in colors in this suite as well. So I just thought it was so much fun, and I was like, okay, I am going to show you guys um, which stamp I used out of the stamp set. Are you ready? Oh, yes. See the easel right here. The easel actually comes with a square, and so I thought, you know what? I wonder if any if people would throw that little square out or if they would think, well, maybe the kissing technique or um, another way to use that square. So I decided let's just see what we can do with it. So I've mounted my square and um, I'm going to show you exactly kind of the background that I had fun making. But when you watch me make it, just keep in mind that you know, you can play with the shapes and, and change it up and switch it up. This was just something that I liked, okay? And of course, play with the colors because that is what makes it fun. So here is um, the one that I did in Tempting Turquoise. And I just, I really liked that one too. And so you can see the, the fun background back here. And um, today we're going to do it in Watermelon um, watermelon Wonder. I'm going to make sure I say it right. Watermelon Wonder. I have not tried it in Watermelon yet. So that's why I decided to try it in Watermelon. Here's my square. And I'm going to kind of take you through how I did this. It's not too, it's not too hard at all. So we're going to ink up our uh, square full on in Watermelon Wonder. And what I like to do is these two corners here at the bottom, we're just going to stamp it straight down and straight up. Okay. Now I have a fairly juicy stamp pad. Um, so we'll just kind of have to work through that. Um, but what I'm going to do next is I stamped it off and now I'm going to stamp it again and again. And so I loved the three shades of color. I thought that was like super cool. So we're going to ink it up again and we're going to stamp it straight down and straight up. Ooh, that's pretty. And so let's ink it up again full on and we've got a nice good, it's nice and inked up. Now, because I stamped this part of the corner, I can stamp it again without having to ink it up. Because if you're not careful, you'll get these lines. Here, take a look at that. See those lines? So that's why you always have to re-ink it back up. So we're going to ink it back up, stamp it off. And let's see, I'm going to do that one more time because it looked like there was something on my stamp. There we go. And we're going to stamp it again. And I'm going to go again down here. So I loved the color variation and that's what you want. So we're going to turn our cardstock around and um, ink that stamp again. And I'm going to stamp it right there. And again, now we've got to stamp it off a few times to get that lighter shade. So there's one and there's a lighter shade. So I'm going to stamp it off a couple times here and we'll stamp that lighter shade there. And perfect. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to ink it up all the way and you know, you just got to play with it and see what you end up liking. So here, what I ended up liking was um, when you go to do this, what I thought looked really cool was you kind of take this corner and you line it up 
with the corner of your cardstock. So let's see. So I'm going to kind of the center of my Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to line up this corner. It's inked up really well. And I'm going to go straight down and straight up. Now that looked super cool. Now what I want you to remember is that you want to try to kind of keep your lines of symmetry because if you start to get like your square a little cattywopped, I mean, it is a work of art for sure, so it's okay, but I have found it just looks a little bit more eye-pleasing if you can try to keep your square um, and the lines kind of all straight. So I'm gonna line up this square, the top of the corner here, straight down, straight up, and the same thing down here. And again, just kind of looking at the other squares that I've already stamped and trying to make sure that everything is for the most part um, fairly even. So let's stamp it straight down, straight up. And again, this corner right here. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, this looks fab fantastic. And then we're gonna kind of match this corner here again. Now, the thing here is, is that, you know, this last square, it's kind of half off. And because of that, we just sort of have to improvise these top corners. The top corner and potentially the bottom corner. But it turned out really pretty, see that? I just think that is absolutely beautiful. And that is exactly what I was looking for too. Um, so when you see all the card together, well you've seen it in the Tempting Turquoise, I have not seen it in Watermelon. So I'm excited to kind of see it all to come together and what it will look like. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, is I'm gonna flip over my mat because I feel like you'll be able to see the card better as I finish creating it. Now, for those of you just joining me um, for one of my videos, if you're interested in the sizes and the dimensions and how to make this card, you're gonna wanna go to brandyscards.com. There is a navigational bar at the very top there's a search bar up there, so type in there, Painter's Palette. Um, you can also type in there, what else will I put? Uh, work of Art. I might even put the word square in there. So what you would do is you would search for that stamp set. And then when you do that, you're gonna be able to see all of the cards that I've created with the stamp set. Now, there's also a video um, in the naviga navigational bar, there's also a little um, spot up there that says video. You can find all of my video tutorials right there by just clicking on that, um, that section, so on video. So you might wanna try that as well if you're looking for a particular um, video, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and set my square aside. I have our friendship is a work of art and I'm gonna stamp that in Watermelon Wonder on my little square here. Straight down, straight up. Oh my goodness, it turned out great. Oh, that is the best when it turns out perfect. I love it, see? Awesome. Okay, what we're gonna do is, this looks like a perfect shade of like lipstick or a sundress. It's very pretty. All right, so I've just glued that down to the top of my square my watermelon wonder square. Now I'm gonna put it on top of my white square. The reason that I did it on top of another white square, because sometimes people will say, well, Brandy, why do you layer so much? Well, I kind of felt like that, that watermelon square got lost on top of, um, of this, uh, the palette that I have here. So that's why I did that. All right, let's add some Stampin' Dimensionals and we are close to being done. Now, once you get these on here, the little Stampin' D's, these are like the best little dots ever. Oh my goodness, this is great. This is great for like a summer party. Oh, what do you guys think? Pretty awesome, right? And so now don't forget, you're gonna wanna cut your white piece here in the center. That is gonna be four, uh, four inches by five and a quarter. So you're just gonna cut that, add that to the center. But again, brandyscards.com, you're gonna find all of the sizes, all of the dimensions. And of course, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, fill out my form at the very bottom and I'll be sure to um, mail you a Stampin' Up! catalog. You will absolutely love it. And don't forget when you get it to take it to Staples and get it bound for $5. That way you can kind of have it right there on your table in front of you. It's 
perfect when you're crafting. So before you go though, I do want to show you a couple other colors. Um, I loved this so much that I actually did it in all of the end colors and I've given those away. So some of you may have gotten those as your thank you note. Um, so I, had, I kind of picked out some new colors because I always love to just kind of switch it up and play. So here's another one. This was mint macaroon. I thought that turned out really pretty. And this one is peekaboo peach. That's kind of fun too. And then this one, of course, is Tempting Turquoise. So I just thought that was a beautiful palette. Um, lots of fun. I hope that you experiment and see what you can come up with. And hopefully you'll start to look at these stamp sets in maybe a little bit of a different way. Thank you for stopping by Brandy's Cards. And um, I hope that you have a blessed day.